Uh, we use uh, wet sockets to uh, quick think up in the background to, to actually... Uh, that is just insane. I just love how fast that is. Right, so it's our first look at DSM-7. We've got it here running in a virtual kernel right now, and we've got the presentation coming very soon, so I apologise in advance if you hear a noise in the background. Now, for those that caught a lot of my coverage before, you'll know that um, Sanji in the Taiwanese event did highlight in a great deal of ways about just how fast DSM is. So what we're going to do right now is nice and live, we're just going to log straight into DSM to give you some idea about how fast DSM 7 is. Uh, for those that are wondering, Eddie the web guy's there behind the camera. Ed, you there? You are? Right? He's excellent. So, three, two, one, let's log in. Well, that was that. Uh, that's the end of the video. No, it isn't. But seriously, how remarkably quick was that? Do you know, while we're here, why don't we open a few apps and get some idea about how quickly these apps are going to work out? Actually, before we do that, look how lovely and like graphic look how big the space is to play with here um, now they've kindly let me translate this into English um, all the multilingual support is available currently and if we go into here we can have a little look at some of the applications that are available so straight away the one that you guys asked about the most we'll get straight into it we've got Synology Photos this is the merging of Moment and Photo Station 6 into one cohesive um, photo photography tool. This one tool will allow you to both catalogue your photos and view them in the way that you want. Um, we've got the usual browsing options here and although um, it's not in completed version I am told a lot of the functionality of folders is going to be available. To what extent though we still don't know at this time. Um, right here I'm going to move my mic. I do apologise if there's any noise there in the background. I've managed to knock my mic twice. That's not a euphemism, everyone. So, if we have a look here, we've got the usual functionality of albums here too. If we go back to photos, we can then change the structure of those folders. Now, whether this is just a user, a user interface and the layout of those folders or something more, then we shall see. In the background of this, if the, if the um, event does start behind us, you are going to hear some of that cracking music I told you about before. It's very addictive. Don't let it get in your head. So, moving forward, we can skip out of Synology Photos and look at this new and improved resource monitor. Now, at the moment, I'm being told that the resource monitor that's included inside this, at the moment, doesn't have full functionality because this is a virtual environment. So, unfortunately, as much as we've talked about that new and improved uh, resource monitor, it's still not going to be fully fleshed out in this version. Now, we do have a few other apps to talk about, but a lot of them are going to be locked out of this DSM. And really, this was about showing you guys how fast this user interface is going to be. Now, the control panel, if we look here, we've got the usual options, but again, lovely and fast at how um, this DSM uh, 7.0 is running. Now, I've asked them about the release date of DSM 7, and I'm being told more and more that it's going to be at the start of 2020. More than likely, it's going to be a beta at first. It's not quite finished at the moment, but the general structure and the graphics are all but complete. The very fact they've got multilingual support and more is a very, very good sign at this stage. Now, if we move away from that, we can have a little look going forward at some of the options. We've got the usual options that you've seen before in the current version of DSM and if there are any hiccups during this you know let's be fair it is still a beta so I'm going to do a little less talk and a little bit more showing you some stuff and we can have a look at some of the options we can look at the storage manager but again because we're using a virtual environment it makes it very tough to show you any of the new and improved features in storage manager and I do recommend that you do check out their live stream in Taiwan and of course Germany they're filming it right now for their respective channels. Do check those out. Um, but I'm gonna wrap things up here on DSM because there's not much more functionality featured in this right now compared with what you've seen from the likes of the Taiwanese event and a lot of those slides and hopefully a number of the slides from the German um, uh, uh, preamble. Uh, happening right now we can show you both here on youtube and the blog but otherwise thank you so much for watching i can't wait to see you on the next video don't forget to click like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video let's log out shall we 